So with that done, let's look at you know, the main problem that everybody hates and you'll soon become a master of eliminating and that's feedback. So here it is in a nutshell. We're back to our little mini PA here with a microphone and a speaker. If we place these guys close to each other, you'll, you'll get that unpleasant sound. Now there are two ways to fix this problem. Either physically changing the relationship between the source and the speaker and or you can control their levels. Let's look at the physical side first. This is a cardioid mic, as we've learned before, it, meaning it's most sensitive around here and least sensitive on the back side here. So if we place this mic and the speaker like this and they'll, they'll take off, right? It's much better if they're placed this way. That's why you always wanna have your monitors down by your vocalist feet and it's because they are facing the least sensitive part of the microphone uh, so that you can hear the monitors, hey, 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 I can hear it fine, but it doesn't take off. Now, by the way, don't make the rookie mistake of cupping your hand over the mic when it squeals, check it out. <laughs> because in fact, let me just turn this off, your hand ends up being a perfect parabolic shape that focuses the sound of the feedback right in the most sensitive part of the mic. It ends up just being like one of those parabolic uh, field mics you see on TV at all the pro football games. Ends up being a perfect way to do that. So keep the line of sight of the speakers kind of aimed away from the, from the most sensitive parts of the mic. So if this is a front of house speaker out there to the audience, then that's a good way to, to go. If it's gonna be a monitor, then this should be placed down at your feet. Uh, also train your vocalists to put their mics behind their backs when resting their hands, not drop down, you know, aiming squarely at the monitors. So the two main culprits for feedback will be the main speakers and monitors. In terms of the main speakers, you'll want to line your vocalists or you know, any open mic for that matter up behind those main speakers. If your vocalist or pastor likes to walk out in front of the main speakers, then you're going to start having you know, probably concerns. This is the feedback zone. Now, I wouldn't recommend being out there, but if your vocalist really wants to be out there in front of the main speakers, then the best first line of defense is having a microphone with a very tight pickup pattern and getting that mic as close to the sound source, being his or her mouth, as possible. You see, your worst nightmare is someone who likes to wander out in front of the speakers and who likes to kind of place the mic down here like an accessory or something. If you can't hear the person, then you're going to have to crank this up you know, more and more and then check it out. The mic hears both the vocalists and the front of house speakers and you start to get the squealing. You want to maximize the, the good signal from the bad signal and also the, all the reflections on here. So train your vocalist to really get up on that mic so that the ratio of good vocals overpowers all the other reflections. You know, let me just turn that down. This is true if your vocalist stands anywhere, but crucial if they like to walk out in the audience. I'm not against people walking out in the audience, but in formula vocalists, that they will have to use a microphone that has a lot of rejection. That is going to be a cardioid mic. And they'll need to really get up on that mic. If you're a church sound person and your pastor likes to walk out around the sanctuary, try to encourage him or her to use a head-worn mic. They work really great in this scenario. As I said, the other danger zone is, uh, is on the stage in the form of onstage monitors. Uh, that is why make sure that they are down at the feet of your performers so that they are naturally uh, in the rejection zone of your handheld microphones. Uh, some people like to hang monitors up you know, above to get kind of a clean stage look, but remember they are now in a more sensitive angle in regards to your microphone and feedback might be more of a